Good morning, Taft Wizards. Happy Monday. This is Mrs. Williams, your principal. Today is Monday, September, uh -oh, September 21st, 2020. Let's please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So I hope that you had a great weekend. I hope it was balanced with some relaxing, some fun, maybe a little bit of work. That's what I always do on the weekend, a little bit of work and a little bit of relaxing. So like I said, today's September 21st. Our weather for today is gonna be sunny, but it's also gonna be chilly. How many of you saw frost this morning? I did. It's only gonna be in the low 60s today, so make sure that you wear um, some long sleeve shirts and stuff if you're going outside. So our lunch for today, if you already ordered over the weekend, would be hamburger or cheeseburger, seasoned potato wedges and baked beans, served with milk and fruit, and the sandwich of the day today is ham and cheese. So those are for the um, families who already ordered. But you can still order for tomorrow. Tomorrow's lunch is pizza crunchers with sweet potato fries, one of Mrs. Williams' favorites, roasted broccoli served with fruit and milk, and the sandwich of the day tomorrow is Italian combo. And remember that you can order our lunches on the district website. So this week, today is Remote Learning Monday. So just a reminder to follow your teacher's instructions. Your teachers are either emailing that to you or using Seesaw, so please check for that. They're not officially having any live Google Meets today, not with the class, but there might be some students who have Google Meets with maybe their speech therapist or um, related service provider. So if that's true for you, just check your email or your Seesaw and your teacher would have told you that. Tomorrow, our hybrid groups start. So tomorrow, anybody who has the last name with the letters A, that the last name begins with the letters A through L, you come tomorrow and Wednesday, as well as our English language learners and our Aspire students. And then anyone whose last name begins with the letters M through Z, you guys start on Thursday. You come Thursday and Friday. And remember that the three days that you're home, they're not, you're not gonna have live Google Meets with your teacher in the hybrid model because your teacher is here teaching students in person. Um, our full virtual students, you're gonna continue to have Google Meets with your teacher, but probably only two or three days out of the week. Um, most, I think most of them are doing three days of live and then the other two days would be some, uh, some independent work on Seesaw or follow-up work. Um, I also want to remind parent, uh, students who are coming to school to make sure that you bring a face covering or a mask. So a lot of times I wear one of these. It goes around my neck and it covers my nose and my mouth and it helps um, me protect my, my friends and my colleagues. Or I have one of these that goes around my ears. It has Taft and Mrs. Williams on the other side and it covers my nose and my mouth. And I wear that when I'm around people. Right now I'm in my office all alone and the door is closed. And I also wanted to show you guys some of the things that you might see. So in my office, some of our offices have these plastic things, which are really nice. You can see right through them. It's hard to tell. But this way, when I'm having a meeting with teachers or parents, we don't have to wear our mask when we're sitting across the table from each other because that um, plastic barrier will protect us. Our secretaries have some of those. The health office will have um, some of those very soon. They're, they were ordered. And when you first walk in, you'll see our security monitor has one of those as well. So anytime you come into the building, you wanna make sure that you are wearing your mask and keeping your distance and washing your hands because we wanna make sure we keep everybody safe and healthy. Um, and remember, if you borrowed a district Chromebook, to make sure that you do bring it tomorrow charged. Now you will not be on the Chromebook all day. Um, you might even, you might not even be on it at all, but the teachers do want to make sure that you can navigate through your Chromebook properly. If you're not borrowing a district Chromebook, that's okay. We have Chromebooks here, um, so you keep your personal device at home, and we have Chromebooks here when you get here. And remember to purchase the insurance for the Chromebook, too, um, if you can. It's only $22, and that covers you for the whole year of almost anything. So our National Day celebrations for today, guess what? So every week, I didn't realize this, the National Day celebration through the summer celebrates a different state every week. And today is National New York Day. So how awesome is that, that we live in New York? So I want you to think today, what do you love about New York? 
You can send me a picture or send me an email to write up what your favorite thing about New York is. One of my favorite things are the, the beautiful scenery that I get to see in New York. And I love how we have anything from the city to the country. A lot of times when my family or my fr not my family, they, they're from New York, but my friends, they always think when I say I'm from New York, they think automatically I'm from a big city. But New York has so much more than just a city. Um, it has beautiful mountains and rivers and lakes, and that's my favorite part of New York. Don't get me wrong, I do love to visit the city too, but I am not a city person, would never want to live there. Also, today, or this weekend, was called Seat Check Saturday. So what this is, is for the young children who sit in car seats, we want your parents to make sure that they check your car seats, but also as a reminder to make sure you're wearing your seat belts. The fact for today, which is not fun, it's actually sad, it says every 33 seconds, one child is injured in a car accident. So make sure you're wearing your seatbelt so you're safe. And it's pecan cookie day. Now I've never, some people say pecan, I say pecan. I've never had a um, pecan cookie, but a pecan is an Algonquin word, which is a Native American in New York. And it's a nut requiring a stone to crack because pecans can be very hard. So I hope you enjoy a pecan cookie today. Enjoy New York. And remember to send me a picture or a quick little email sentence or a couple sentences about why or what you love about New York. Everybody have a great remote Monday, and I will see you tomorrow.